Hi, today I'm going to show you one of the most recent features we added in SQL Developer Web 20.3, the REST Workshop. Developing ORTS REST services is now possible using SQL Developer Web. Once you log in, a new REST link will be available right in the homepage. You can either click on it or open the hamburger menu at the top left corner of the screen from wherever you are in the application then expanding the development menu, and finally, clicking on the REST menu item. Once in the REST section, you will be presented with the REST overview, where you can see the following. The object section will show the count of REST objects in the current schema, including modules, roles, privileges, and clients. You can even click on each one of the items to drill down into the details. The security section will display a security overview, including the authentication requirements for the metadata catalog, the number of modules published, and the number of modules that require authentication. The recent objects section contains the recently created or updated REST objects in the current schema. You could even click on the context menu of each of the objects to dive directly into the particular details. Let's dive into the Modules tab. The Modules tab is where you can create new REST modules. This report will show you all of the modules that are currently in your schema. You can search for a module, filter the available modules by their published status, and sort the list of modules by their attributes. On the top right corner of the report, you will find Pagination Controls, a refresh button so you don't have to reload the entire application to look for changes, and a view selector, where you can alternate between the current card view or a report view, which will display even more details about the modules. The currently applied filters and sorting are shown just below the pagination controls so you can easily remove them if necessary. Each module card has a context menu from which you can perform several actions like reviewing the module's details, editing the module, publishing or unpublishing the module, export the module's contents, or deleting the module. You can also click on the module's name to dive into its templates. The module's templates page is where you can find all of the templates that correspond to that module. The module will still be shown as a card at the top of the page and a report will be displayed below containing all of the templates that belong to that module. As before, we have a context menu in each of the template cards where you can act on a particular template. If you click on any template's name, you will be presented with the template's handlers. The template's handlers page lists all of the four possible handlers a template can have, get, post, put, and delete. As before, the template will be shown at the top of the page, followed by a report displaying all of the available handlers. You can also use the context menu of each handler to perform actions on it. At the footer of each handler, you can even copy the request URL and use it to get the REST endpoint's response, either in the browser, the terminal, or any other REST client. When you click on the handler's name, you will dive into the handler's details. The Handler's Details page will provide you with a code editor to edit the source of the handler, as well as a section to create new parameters for it. The editor in this page includes a toolbar to execute and test the code you are entering, making it easier to debug without leaving the page. Let's copy the URL for this handler and paste it in the browser to execute it and review its results. The Security tab contains three pages. In the Roles page, you will be able to review the list of available ORTS roles in your schema and create new ones if needed. In the Privileges page, a report containing all of the privileges available in the current schema will be displayed. As with the previous card reports, each of the privilege cards will have a context menu to act on them. The OAuth Clients page will present a report of the REST OAuth Clients available in the schema. 
Each client card will display the masked client ID and client secret on its footer, which can be revealed by clicking on the eye icon next to them. Also, each of the client cards will have its own context menu from which you can edit the client, get a no-auth token, or delete the client. Let's get a token for this client. Once open, this dialog will provide you with a token that will be valid for one hour. And it will also provide you with a curl command in case you want to retrieve a token yourself using the terminal. This has been an overview of the new REST Workshop feature in SQL Developer Web 20.3. Thanks for watching.